In my opinion, this is the easiest and fastest method to get a basic interpretation of ABGs. First things first, you're going to have to know your normal values, okay? Let's look at that pH of 7.35 to 7.45. So our pH is going to determine if we're acidotic or alkalotic. Anything lower than 7.35 is an acidosis, and everything higher than 7.45 is an alkalosis. All right, next, let's take a look at that bicarb. So anything lower than 22 is going to be acidosis. Anything higher than 26 is going to be alkalosis. All right, let's put it all together. So think of them like friends. If the bicarb and the pH are friends, then it's a metabolic problem. So if the bicarb is following the pH, it's metabolic. And if they are not friends, if the bicarb is not following the pH or is normal, then it's a respiratory problem. Let's take a look at this first example. So our pH is going to be 7.22, which is low, making this a acidotic problem. Next, we're going to look at the bicarb. The bicarb is also low at 18. That means the bicarb is also acidotic, so they're friends. This makes it a metabolic acidosis. All right, so for example number two, it's going to be a little different. So first, look at the pH. It is 7.55, which is alkalosis. This is a alkalotic problem. Okay, next, let's look at the bicarb. It's still 18, which means it's not following the pH, which means they are not friends. So this makes it a respiratory problem. Put those two together, you have a respiratory alkalosis. And that wraps up our very, very basic interpretation of ABGs. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Hit that follow button for more. All right.